Good evening, everybody. Four years of blood, sweat, and tears reached its pinnacle last night. We'll get you to tonight's broadcast of the Marquette WNIT second round matchup versus Butler. But first, we'll show you the, the men are still dancing or hanging up their shoes. This special edition of Sports Time starts now. Closing seconds of overtime against Stanford in last year's NCAA tournament. 30 points from Jarrell McNeil was not enough to overcome a game-winning shot from Cardinal Center Brooke Lopez. Fast forward to Sunday night, and in the second round of the tourney, yet again, Marquette would find themselves pitted against a number three seed, and Jarrell McNeil would have his eyes fixed on scoring 30 points. Good evening, everybody. I'm Richie Donnelly for MUTV Sports. After a narrow victory against Utah State in the first round, the Marquette Golden Eagles look to rally behind the reemergence of senior Dominique James. Cleared to play by doctors just hours before the second round game against Missouri, the Golden Eagles would need a Herculean effort from all of their players if they wanted to reach the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2003. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Coach as of February 26, but with a shaved head, he is a player. In this game, Dominic James, senior guard, cleared to play by doctors. And starting things off, Lazar Hayward, a jumper in the lane, 6-0 Marquette. Hayward would finish with 13 points and was very instrumental in the early action for the Golden Eagles. But after the turnover, the Tigers roared back. Off the steal, Demarre Carroll to Leo Lyons for the layup and the foul. Free throws good. It's 9-7 Missouri just like that simply five minutes into the game and they are off and running trying to think shake things off after a bad shooting effort against utah state Jarrell mcneil hits this three from the wing it's 10-9 marquette wesley matthews also joining the three party with this one from out on top more from wes in the second half but it's 13-9 golden eagles missouri would be officially invited invited to the shoot around Marcus Denman, deep three from the wing. His only three-pointer of the game pulls the Tigers within one. It's 17-16. And then the four minutes in Boise that crowned a man named Kim. Kim English, three-pointer from the corner. A freshman, 1917 Missouri, halfway through the game. More from English right here. This time, he's going out on top for this three-pointer. 22-17 Mizzou. And now... English, just the freshman, yet again, just the freshman, got to stress that, calling this one. Three-pointer from the corner pocket. English, 15 of his 17 points dropped in just four minutes of the first half. And Missouri isn't done. Damare Carroll with one of his three assists. This one to Matt Lawrence on the break for the layup. 37-26 Missouri. Things not looking good for Marquette as Matt Lawrence is going to do it again. This time dishing the rock to Leo Lyons for the layup. It's going to be 42-26 Missouri. The 16-point lead would be their largest of the game. And now about one more thorn from this time, senior Matt Lawrence. Three ball from the corner, 45-30 Tigers. They're out front after one by 15. Taking a look at the first half box scores. Golden Eagles struggling. The sixth seed down to the three seed. Less than 50% field goal shooting for Marquette, only four assists. The exact opposite for Missouri, 11 assists on 19 of 36. Missouri only two turnovers in the first half. Check that for 10 for the Golden Eagles. Jarrell McNeil, 16 points in the first half. Let's swing it over to second half action right now. Buzz Williams known for his second half turnarounds. He would need this one. Jarrell McNeil with the steal, hits it on the layup and the foul, cuts the lead to eight points. Leo Lyons to Damari Carroll now. We're talking reverse layup in the paint, off glass. He called that one. Missouri's lead back up to double digits. Carroll would finish with 15 points. But the senior from Madison enjoys the baseline. That is Mr. Wesley Matthews' baseline drive for the slam. We'll uh, see if Deja Vu can repeat itself later in the show. JT Tiller on the drive this time. Gets it to Damari Carroll for the reverse layup. 57-46 in 34 minutes. Carroll shot over 
Wesley Matthews with his second three-pointer of the game. Pulls Marquette within five. That one from the wing, 58-53 Missouri. Jarrell McNeil is going to pull up for a three on this play in transition. Jarrell had nine points from beyond the arc and 13 from the charity stripe. 61-59, the start of Marquette's comeback. Maybe capped off by this one. Maurice Acker gets it up to Jimmy Butler on the break for the layup. Game tied at 67. Jimmy Butler, six-man extraordinaire, finished with seven points. Matt Lawrence, however, senior. Three-pointer from the wing, retakes the lead for Missouri. Both teams shot 33% from beyond the arc in the contest. Wesley, Wesley Matthews on the break, goes in for the layup and the foul. Free throws good. Marquette takes the lead again, 71-70. Matthews is in the top 10 career scoring for Marquette. Hit eight of his nine free throws. Matthews again, but this time baseline drive for the two-hand slam. 75-72 Marquette. West had 24 points on the day. Leo Lyons, reverse layup from in the paint. Free throws good, 79-78 Missouri. Lyons led Missouri scores with 18. Five Tigers were in double figures. JT Tiller, talking isolation play, drives into the lane. Misses the layup, but gets fouled. Tiller, however, would get hurt on the play and is replaced by none other but Kim English, the freshman from the first half. He's going to knock down two free throws, puts Missouri up by two, 81-79 with just five and a half seconds to go. And then Christian Leitner, I think not Lazar Hayward, steps on the baseline, turnover, Missouri ball. They go on to win. Jarrell McNeil, thoughts on the game? Um, I think just uh, we went through, through a spurt there throughout the game where uh, we weren't playing very well defensively and we were uh, turning the ball over a little too much early on in the first half, which uh, led to them getting a getting the run, uh, doing what they, what they do best, get out in transition and get easy layups and things like that. But uh, you know, a, lot of, a lot of the problems were stemming from our offense just because we weren't, we were, we weren't getting the looks so or we were taking quick, bad shots, which was leading the, the easy points for them in transition. So.